Give me the pitch. You came all the way out here. Nah, it's getting late. Are you serious? No, it's a whole thing. I mean, the, you know, I have a PowerPoint presentation. And <laughs> there's an interpretive dance section. <laughs> takes, a, takes a while. Give me a little bit of it. <laughs> Just the dance. I, I can come back. The movies that come to mind with, that are similar to Promised Land that I love of yours recently, like Your Sister's Sister, Sister oh, thanks. also. Thanks. What a great movie. And the thing that struck me is how great is it to do these movies and get the heck out of L.A. proper? So nice, right? I mean, your sister's sister. It was like, where were we? <laughs> you know, that <laughs> island was like completely magical. And so was uh, we shot outside of Pittsburgh on this movie. And yes. there was a day where we were shooting a scene on Alice's farm. And just, it rained, it rained. I thought we're not going to get the shot. And then the sky opened up and there was lightning in the distance and <sighs> baby goats running by and horses. And it was just like, we don't, we have some pretty stunning nature obviously here yeah. in LA, but it's the quiet where you, you can really stop and appreciate it. Exactly, because there's no quiet here. There's always no. the talking. It's, you know, some, somebody with their script in the Starbucks yeah. disturbing you, like. Yeah. Disturbing you. Be like, Will you read my lines with me? <laughs> You're like, I just want a latte. <laughs> what? Uh, the is shooting in Western Pennsylvania. Um, you guys like right down to the very last detail. We're getting America in this movie. Yeah, like, I read that Matt Damon's boots were even off eBay because they wanted something that came from America. Yeah, and you that's know? why he wants them too. They're his grandfather's boots, and they work, and they're good. And Fran's like, get some new boots, will you? Um, yeah, I feel like I mean that's one of the things I love about Gus's movies is. The, everything feels authentic and there's a lot of local people in the movie yeah you know it's not a lot of actors and then that makes your job that much more difficult because everybody looks and sounds completely real, real. Um, but yeah so it feels very American because it is when you you fit in really well into that especially as this character that's you know been to the city done that thing but come back and it's really beautiful was it, were there ever any moments, though, where you were taking notes from the real people that were in it going, like, mm, too well, much? Well, it's interesting, because even that thread of the story, that came in kind of late in the game. Like, we knew, that, we knew that Alice and Steve would have a scene there, but for a long time we didn't know what exactly needed to be said in that scene. And at first it started with Steve pitching Alice and, and kind of revealing something about himself. And then mm -hmm. we realized at that point in the story, Steve was very much about learning from the people something he needed to hear to help him on his journey. Mm -hmm. So then we said, oh no, this is the scene where Alice reveals something. So until that morning, I didn't know that Alice had just re had returned back. Ah. You know, sometimes you're playing that from the get-go, and yeah. sometimes we're like, oh, we have an idea. And actually, that made the character, sometimes the character comes into focus actually while you're shooting it. Right. And that was one of those scenes. I'm like, oh, now it's making sense. That does. It's yeah. one of those things that comes or Organically, but yeah. that's an LA thing to say. Is it? They would never yeah. say that in Pennsylvania. I don't no. think. Yeah. I pointed like that's Pennsylvania. <laughs> that's it right there. <laughs> it is actually. Yeah. Tell me about these silent takes that yeah. Gus Van Sant does. I love them. Really? Yeah, I love them so much because what it is is you do the scene, you finish the scene, and then you kind of get a freebie where you're going to do it one more without any, without any dialogue. At first, wow. I remember wanting to be because most of my scenes are with Matt. I wanted us to be in the exact same moment at the exact same time, and then I realized there's no scorecard. You just kind of feel the feelings of being in the scene and think the thoughts. And then, because reaction shots can be deadly for actors when they're like, and there, your house is on fire, go. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you're having to, and this one, you get the reaction shots because you're just looking at each other. Wow. See, and that's where I think acting sounds terrifying. Because you're just being so vulnerable in that moment. Yeah. That it, I, I, because I think everything I would do would be too big. No. Can we do a silent? Let's do a sure. silent take. I'm going to tell you this movie is good. I'm going to okay. try and just convey that. <laughs> <laughs> and that made me so happy. And it worked. We, Our silent take was a big success. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> oh, there's still hope for me yet as an yeah. actress. Where do you see Alice in four years? Without giving away the end to the film, of course. Yeah. I think. I get the feeling that she stays. I think I think she doesn't know what the heck she's sort of doing when she comes back because it wasn't her decision. Sometimes life throws you a curveball, you know, and her dad dies so she comes back and right. inherits the farm. But I I believe her. I, I believe that she likes her life here and I believe that she's making a place for herself here. Who knows who she's doing it with and and what how that all works out, but I I think she's I think she's doing good. I agree. Yeah. Thank you.